The following contest is a no holds barred match and is for the Men's Underground Wrestling Championship. Yeah, now we're talking. Ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, the championship is on the line here tonight. And in looking at the opposition, I can say that the champion will have quite the hill to climb in this one. A challenger with a confident look on his face, more than ready for this title opportunity. Make way for the double champ. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. Introducing the challenger from New York, weighing in at 210 pounds, the deranged Dr. Cottonmouth. And his opponent from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the men's underground wrestling champion, P. Cloud. Social media is buzzing, as it always is, when this title is defended. This right here is a championship that gained a lot of prestige in short order, guys. Yeah, I mean, once a title match is called by yours truly, you know it finally matters in our industry. Well, you're certainly not Mr. Modest today, are you, Corey? Oh, flying Majorana, beautiful. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. I don't care how bold you are, missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Oh, what an atomic drop. Pow! And a senton! Cross body! prepare your face for that and it seems like you have to be at least a little sadistic to be victorious in an ODQ match oh come on Cole it's not about being sadistic it's about being smart there's no safety net and no disqualification match and that's a big factor in succeeding there's nothing sadistic about it running hurricane Rana acrobatics look 
Unbelievable athleticism <laughs> into the armbar. That was amazing. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to squirms his way out. Oh, stomping away. The challenger's looking shaken. Jaw shattering boot gets out of there in a hurry. Perhaps looking slingshot. Ah, oh, straight to the floor. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. And a well-executed we just saw there. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. Uh-oh! We're going to hyperdrive! Oh! Ooh! Check your face after that one. Oh, getting crushed inside. A bad place to be for the challenger. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Uh-oh. Shifts it back onto him. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. And he slides him back to the mat. Caught with a clothesline. Missed timing with that springboard. Uh-oh. He got the shoulder up in time. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Oh, double knee face buster. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. He breaks the pin before a one count. We're well into the match, and he still seems so fresh. It's almost unbelievable. Punches to the ear? How are they going to hear after this match? Oh, for the arm bar and a punishing stretch. Uh, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. Absolutely brutal. Ruthless. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Up across the shoulders. Round and round and round we go. UFO. Now that is why they're the champ. Uh, arm bar. Punishing stretch. These consecutive attacks have him reeling. Yeah, the defects in his game are leaving him vulnerable. And the champion finally ready to put this one away. That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner. And still, men's underground wrestling champion, P. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxton, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies.